in it. So I'm going to start with this side elevation uh, and I'm going to use a polyline for that using the shortcut PL. So the test doesn't specify where to start. So I'm going to start right about here in the corner. So I'm going to click somewhere around here and then um, so I need to somehow constrain my uh, line to go nicely and straight. Um, so I'm going to use or activate the ortho mode setting so that way I can go nicely uh, straight up. So according to the test is nine, sorry, 690. So I can move and try to find the 690 like so and simply click once I found it. Um, next, uh, we need 305 to the right. So again, I can try to find using the grid, right? The number, but um, I'm going to instead type the number because that's quickly, that's quicker. So I'm going to type 305, press enter, and then I can go down. And uh, so I need, what's the size of this um, over here? Uh, okay, so it's 35. Now, how do I uh, leave a 35 gap over here? What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to use my extension lines uh, by hovering on this um, line over here on this endpoint, only hovering on it and then move to the right like so. I can see an X, a white X. Um, so then um, what I can do is um, I can say from like so right um, because I need this 35 gap right there so what I'm gonna do is again hover on it I can see my X once I see the X for the um, extension I'm gonna click on it and I want a 35 um, units for the gap so I'm gonna move up and say 35 and press enter and now I left a nice gap right there so next i need to move to the left um, and that's 35 also so i'm gonna go 35 move down 35 of course and press enter and then i can go ahead and close by clicking on it and pressing enter oh great 